Gabriela, would you like to start by introducing yourself, please? I am Gabriela Gonzalez. I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at Louisiana State University and former spokesperson of the LIGO Scientific Collaboration. As you said, like you're the former spokesperson of the LIGO um, project. So could you start off by telling us, well, by describing what is a gravitational wave? A gravitational wave, we like to say, are uh, ripples in space-time. <laughs> Einstein's theory, which is a theory of gravity, says that space-time is like a grid. Uh, we imagine a three-dimensional grid for space with clocks for space-time, but it's not rigid. It gets warped by masses. <laughs> And gravitational waves happen when masses wiggle around, they move around. If we have two masses or one mass is being excited, and then these ripples travel at the speed of light. Those are the gravitational waves. So can you give an example of the masses that might be causing the ripples? Well, uh, the prediction uh, that Einstein himself made in 1916 was that these gravitational waves were so weak that they would never be seen. The ones that we saw for the first time in 2015 were produced by two black holes that each had about 30 times the mass of our sun, but compacted in 300 kilometers each. <laughs> and they were in spiraling around each other at about half the speed of light before merging into a single black hole. So it took that huge event to produce gravitational waves that when, when they reached us were just tiny, tiny, tiny effect, but we could measure it. And how did you feel when the first gravitational wave got measured? Oh, we were so surprised. We were not expecting it at all. Nobody knew how many binary systems with black holes are out there. We knew that if they were out there, they would produce strong gravitational waves, but we had we only knew about we only knew about a few uh, black holes of solar masses uh, smaller than the ones at the center of the galaxies and we didn't have any evidence of a pair so we were expecting uh, to see with gravitation with uh, the gravitational wave detectors with the LIGO detectors we are targeting these to look at the merger of neutron stars <laughs> that produce weaker signals so we were not expecting to see any signal and just before we started taking data 24 hours a day this huge signal came to us huge to us of course it was tiny but <laughs> compared to our noise it was huge and we just didn't believe it. We, we thought it was a dream. We thought it was a test. <laughs> it took us a, at least a day to convince that this, is not, this was not at least an intentional test. 